If you have a disability that just affects your ability to complete common daily activities, you may qualify for services you can receive in the community and the comfort of your own home. Or wherever you are living, Colorado Medicaid Disabilities Programs can provide eligible individuals who have disabilities with what they are known as long-term service and supports or LTSS. In this video, we will give you an overview of what is called the level of care a person must require in order to receive LTSS. Just so you are aware, level of care is also sometimes called the nursing facility level of care or hospital level of care. But don't worry, you don't have to have a hospital or nursing home stay to meet the level of care or access these services. It can be more costly to receive services at a nursing facility or a hospital, and data shows most people prefer to be in their homes. Essentially, when you hear people refer to level of care, that simply means you need a certain level of assistance to qualify for LTSS. Hence the purpose of this video. So what is the first step you need to take in order to receive LTSS? Well, first you must receive Colorado Medicaid. Coloradans with disabilities can get Medicaid by either applying for a waiver through SSI or through the Working Adults with Disabilities. Why? You must get your health insurance through one of these programs to be eligible for LTSS. Having explained how to receive LTSS, let's look more closely at how the LTSS can support you. There are several common daily activities that LTSS recipients can get help with. Medicaid refers to these tasks as activities of daily living or functional activities. Again, to meet the level of care required to receive LTSS, you need to require assistance, whether physical, verbal or technological on a regular basis with some of the activities I am about to discuss. When I say regular basis, that means you generally need help more days than not. Now, let's discuss the various activities of daily life a person might need assistance with. Physical activities of daily living include your general mobility, meaning your ability to physically get around with or without an assistive device. Some people find bathing challenging. Some people need help with bathing because they need to be reminded to bathe or need help getting completely clean. Another daily living activity involves dressing yourself. Some individuals require assistance completing daily toileting activities. This also includes bowel programs to help with catheters or ostomies. Eating is, of course, a very important activity of daily life, and some people may need to help feeding themselves or managing their feeding tube. 
other people could benefit from having help with their behavior and emotions. People may also need help with cognition if they have challenges with their money or clear thinking, while others have disabilities that affect their executive functioning and could use help with planning, scheduling, or problem solving. Still, other people need help due to sensory disabilities like being blind or having communication needs based on your disabilities. All of the daily activities I just mentioned are absolutely necessary for any person to accomplish in order to live a healthy life. And LTSS can make these tasks easier if you qualify for them. So how do you know if you qualify to receive LTSS? When you qualify for Medicaid, you can call your local case management agency and they will assign you a case manager. Your case manager can then give you an assessment to determine whether you qualify for specific waivers under your Medicaid program. To be clear, a waiver is simply an extra set of non-medical benefits that people with disabilities may qualify for. Waivers are targeted towards different types of disabilities, so the services differ in some waivers. Some people are eligible for more than one waiver and should be told about the different options and given a choice because you can only be on one waiver at a time. When your case manager gives you a level of care assessment for a waiver, it is important to know what to expect so that you get the care you need. An assessment is simply a list of questions to help you identify your needs. The answers you provide to the assessment questions determine not only whether you are eligible to receive LTSS, but also the amount of care for which you qualify. Please make sure you are completely honest and share not only what a good day looks like, but how much support you need on a bad day. Many of us do not like the idea of wanting or needing help. The assessment questions can make us feel vulnerable or embarrassed. And some of the questions are about really personal tasks like bathing and toileting. I have two pieces of advice to help manage feelings you might have about the assessment. First, if you are concerned about feeling embarrassed or vulnerable, the best way to get past these feelings is actually to get the help you need, which is exactly what can happen if you get LTSS. So often we think that by rejecting help, we are somehow more independent. But every person, no matter their disability status, needs support in various ways. The second piece of advice I would like to offer you is to have someone you trust with you during the assessment. Someone who will be there to support you and encourage you to answer assessment questions as honestly and thoroughly as possible, especially 
if you are concerned about being vulnerable or embarrassed. This person should be someone who knows you and who you feel comfortable around, like a friend, a family member, or an advocate. We also recommend that you consider giving them permission to remind you if you forget to share something about your needs. Going through the level of care assessment may be challenging, but this is how you open the door to many services that make your life easier. If you qualify, meet the level of care, the next step in the LTS process is working with your case manager to create your service plan. Once you have completed your level of care assessment, please know that better things are on the other side of that process for you. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you.